We talked a little bit about uh, about the Harley um, Harley Quinn. Yeah, <sighs> she dated the uh, Joker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, no, this person is way more evil. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this person is observably more evil. Uh, evil. Harley Pasternak, who we brought up. Remember, Kanye had that posted that screenshot of a text he had. And now Harley Harley Pasternak is that. Trainer to the stars. Yeah, the personal trainer dude who helps out all those cool stars that uh, all of which seem to always have some huge kind of life-changing problems. things that happen. Yeah, always. Um, well, it's weird. He lists Krav Maga as like one of his fucking classes, but he never teaches it. Yeah, here, check this out. <laughs> ah, that's mental Krav Maga. Um, this is. Like, oh, this is the guy that does. This is the guy that I do my workout routine with, and then he also tells me when I'm trans. Yes, which turns out is always. Um, so this is uh, the only new mainstream media site I saw cover this. On November nineteenth, two thousand sixteen, a week and a half after Donald Trump won the presidential election, Kanye West, now known as Ye, held a concert in Sacramento. Most people in the audience were, of course, young people and presumably Hillary Clinton voters and presumably deeply disappointed by her loss a week and a half before. So in the middle of the show, West stopped performing and started talking about politics. Google lied to you, he said, by suggesting to its users that Hillary was going to win. <clears throat> Quote, Facebook lied to you. I'm not here to massage you with a fake truth telling you that Hillary's going to win over this. and over and over. You were lied to by Google. You were lied to by Mark Zuckerberg. Middle America, West continued, showed you how they felt. Well, at this point, some of the audience began to boo, but West kept going. He complimented Donald Trump repeatedly. At one point, he used the phrase, make America great again. It was, to put it mildly, not the kind of thing you normally hear at a rap concert. And then, two days later, Kanye West was in the hospital. <coughs> well, at the house of his family's exercise trainer, a man called Harley Pasternak, West apparently suffered some kind of mental break. Pasternak called an ambulance to pick him up. West was taken away, and then pa keep in mind this is stuff that you did really. I didn't really think of. Pasternak is the one to call for the ambulance. Yeah, it was at his house that mm -hmm. this meltdown happened. Yeah. And he was sedated with at least seven different psychiatric medications, including benzodiazepines, lithium, sleeping pills, and olanzapine. Or as Jordan Peterson calls it, breakfast. <laughs> I call that a bloody appetizer. <laughs> News reports suggested that West had experienced a profound psychiatric episode. He'd gone completely off the deep end. He'd gone crazy, and they've been saying that ever since. West, over time, though, told a very different story. In his telling, after what he'd said on stage in Sacramento, Harley Pasternak was trying to shut him up. Pasternak, he said, was not simply a trainer, but instead an agent of ideological control. Pasternak's <coughs> job was to keep West from straying from the script and he's willing to use powerful drugs to do it. That's what he said. But very few people took that claim seriously. In fact, it was exactly the kind of thing a crazy person would say. My trainer drugged me into submission. But here's the thing, Kanye had, the, as they say, the receipts. He's trying to make me into a zombie. Right, sure he did. Have another olanzapine shot, Kanye. You look tired. <laughs> so that's where the story stood until the other day. Nobody believed Kanye West. Then, West posted something remarkable on Twitter, which for some reason virtually all of American media ignored, which is... Because it wasn't about the Jews. ...odd because media outlets are not usually in the business of ignoring remarkable things, but they did. And what he posted was a picture of a text exchange that he had had with Harley Pasternak. Pasternak was explaining that West had better stop saying, quote, crazy stuff. In other words, he'd better get back on script, or else he would be severely punished. Quote, Second option, if you don't shut up, quote, I have you institutionalized again, where they medicate the crap out of you, and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. End quote. That's dark. Try if you Super dark. ...can to imagine a more sinister threat than that, a more chilling threat than that. Do what I say, or I will turn your brain to mush. I will destroy your relationship with your own children. I will send you back to, quote, zombie land forever. Effectively, I'll kill you. Now, keep in mind, this is from West's, quote, trainer. And that's the why it's, bro. Personal trainer? But that's a great front. Oh, no, it's a amazing handler. front. I know, you know I, mean? I know, I know. Like, it's Hollywood people. They all need a trainer, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the greatest cover to have the, oh, he's my nutritionist and trainer. He's, you know. 
Because who's ever really going to follow up on that? Like, who's this guy? Oh, he Come does on. all my nutrition, my training and stuff. Oh, okay. okay. Not his physician. This is the guy he'd hired to help him do squats. A trainer? Really? Do they talk like that at your gym? Probably not. Well, some of them. I've seen some pretty intense ones. Yeah. Like, not so, usually. They don't threaten to drug you, but they, they will threaten to. Like, I will fucking kill you if you don't get one more rep. Let's fucking yeah. go. I will murder your family. And then you do it, and they're like, good job, bud. Great was job, good. man. Good, good job, pal. <laughs> any plans this weekend? Wait, way to push it, bro. Yeah, any plans this weekend? So what's going on here exactly? Well, according to his bio, Harley Pasternak, who has not denied writing these texts, once worked for the Canadian military, where he participated in experiments that measured the effect of various drugs on the human mind. Oh, yeah, no, that's, he's like MKUltra guy. Like, openly. Canadian MKL tree. Yeah. Is that training relevant to this story? We don't know. We do know that based on this text exchange, which again, Harley Pasternak has not said is untrue or fake, on the basis of that, law enforcement agencies definitely ought to be looking very closely at Harley Pasternak, who, by the way, apparently has dozens of other celebrities. They would, but they don't want to damage government property. Pretty mm -hmm. clients, some of whom seem to be out there campaigning. Based on these texts, this looks like a crime. Why is no one investigating it? The fact that no one is well, investigating it. Well, because of the Jew it. stuff. It's the Jew stuff. Mostly the Jew stuff. It's the Jew stuff. Now, that's Harley Pasternak. Now, I, I, I was like, well, I've never really, for somebody who's such a famous star, I've never really heard of him. This Famous trainer to the stars, excuse me. You figure, like, you'd hear about him. <clears throat> so I did a Google search, and I didn't look for this on purpose. This is the, one of the third thing that popped up. I'll just play it. Michael, you're getting a five-minute workout? I am so in. Well, you come oh, on no. over, Ginger, because it is time now for our series, Fast Fixes for 2019. Oh, <clears throat> no, Michael. Are you one of them? <laughs> no. My theory. You ready for my theory? Stephanopoulos, again, is trying to go, I'm going to get my hooks in him, and this will calm him down. Look at that. Give me that Pasternak guy, you know, the guy that we went to when, we, when I worked for Obama that took these guys out. The problem is, it's Michael Strahan. So what, you're going to train somebody who literally lives in the gym? Like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And he's going to be like, so what you saying? Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question, Holly. What you saying is, I got to work on my tricep extension and not talk bad about the Jews. I can't do both. I just like, he'll be like, hey, uh, Michael, why don't I help uh, train you sometime? No, nah, it's okay. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Just towering the, over him. No, nah, I thought. The Jews. The Jews. I got a Peloton in my house. I don't even need to really go to any gym. And this morning is all about fitness. My man here, Harley Pasternak. He is a fitness guru and the best-selling author of The Body Reset Diet. And you have a five... It really is hilarious how they built this entire fake infrastructure around these people. Like Harley Pasternak, they build like a... They'll, they'll, they'll give you a book. You'll get little deals. So you have like a profile and you have some things that... Go on Good Morning back. America. Yeah. yeah. Have it's a cool book body. that nobody bought. But it's out. You, it's there. It existed. Mm -hmm. They work out. And so also, say, here's the other thing about him. He doesn't even look like he's in great shape. He looks like he's in okay shape. Mm -hmm. He just is like a runner, like a skinny runner, right? Also, Frozen, is that you? Frozen, is that you on the left there? No. Okay. okay. You can pretty much do it even if you set your muscles on I think that it just body. doesn't even need to be males. It's no. just any Asian Frozen. Yeah, it's Frozen, yeah. Absolutely. And, and this is the beginning of the year 2019. People make excuses. Mm -hmm. I can't get to the gym. I don't have lots of equipment. I don't have the time. Today, I'm going to show you how to take five of my favorite exercises, combine them into and two. And if you don't do them, I'm going to drug you and separate you from your children. Uh, and I'm going to have people pick you up in the middle of the night, put a black bag over your head, and take you to a black site prison. But I feel like knowing Strahan, like it's a Mr. Magoo thing, it's like the wily e. coyote. He keeps trying to inject him, and he keeps missing and hitting himself or falling over. Because Strahan's like, "Ooh, a penny!" and he bends over keeps and he fucking... just falls over. <laughs> Alternate every other day. Five minutes, you're done. So five—that's what we were saying. Five minutes, you can be done. Five minutes, you can be done. And we have all right. So the first people thing, here—they're all doing five different exercises. The first thing we're going to do is a bent over row, really a simple movement, reaching down all the way. She's okay. squeezing from her shoulder blades right up here. Really great upper back exercise. Then we terrible bent over row so we'll start with that and again it's so it's 2019 right so you can see this is a guy who has been who's being set up being pushed in my opinion by some sort of three-letter agency which one it is i'm not sure it might it doesn't even have to be an american one maybe but it's some. more than one 
Maybe it's a conglomerate. We have a stiff leg deadlift, a really great movement for the hamstrings, the butt, the lower back. Okay. Both of these pull the body back, create the illusion of having a longer leaning, leaner physique, and we can combine both. Well, like an illusion that black people actually run the rap industry. I was talking to my friend Kanye, and he told me not to trust you. Yeah. What do you mean by that? My good friend Kanye West wanted to ask if you could give him his masters back. Also, he said, I'm going by the name Hand now. <laughs> You're going to combine both of these. Also, what, what's DEFCON mean? <laughs> both of us, right here. Okay. We're going to grab these do? dumbbells. First off, Michael Strahan is humongous, and you're giving him little five-pound dumbbells? He's giving him the dumbbells that old ladies hold when they walk around the mall. I, <laughs> look little at tiny that. pink ones. Here you go, Mike. Now, try to keep up. Okay, you're going to get in position. We're going to throw your hips back like a deadlift when you're... I'm telling you, I keep thinking as Looney Tunes are going to swing his arm out and just knock him out by mistake. Now listen, take these tiny little pink weights and, uh, hey, listen, former NFL Defensive Player of the Year, I want you to try to keep up. <laughs> I, uh, keep up. <laughs> when you said that he's doing all of this stuff just to get back at Lawrence Taylor, I was thinking about, I was fucking laughing by myself <laughs> the other day. This is all a play. It's all a play. This is all it is. I did it without crack, Lawrence. Checkmate. You ever, been, you ever been to space, bitch? <laughs> you seen a polar bear? No, I didn't think so. You're going to do a row, back down, and then back up. Oh, fiddle fix. I knocked him out. And back <laughs> down, row, reach, and back up. So if we were to do this for a minute, and then a minute off, a minute, a minute off, and a minute, that's five minutes you'll have. Yeah, yeah, I get it, but this Lex Luthor looking guy is getting into fucking these people's ears and they're fucking with them. And I will agree. He, this is the, you know he hasn't denied that text message either. No, he was not which denied. Which is really weird. Yeah. That's five minutes. You'll have three sets. You will be attired, your hamstrings, your back, everything. Glutes. I'm tired already. All right. 15 Let's seconds. move on. Perfect. <laughs> okay, what so, we got next? Now we've got seated clamshells or abduction. Whoa, 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 hey. That's not what you mean. That's not what you call a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's no way to speak of a lady. Clamshell. Yeah. Like, like it implies that her entire existence is just her body is just a shell to protect her clam. <laughs> like, yeah, listen here, clamshell. Hey Frozen, you're Asian. Do you do you do seated seated clam shells? No. Uh, that's why your vagina's so loose. Didn't even know. That we use a hip circle. Today. You can get these online for two dollars. The little, the rubber ones. This is a fancier one. I wrote. She's talking about the sex dolls. Did you get one of those sex, Asian sex dolls? My name with a marker on it, so no one steals it after the show. <laughs> and this hits the glute medius, which is the outside of the hip. Mm -hmm. um, really important muscle for balance, stability, and rounds out the side of the butt. Then we have a hip thrust. Yeah. Why are we clapping? Such I'm sorry. Did you, did you hear somebody audibly say, wow? Wow. It's what are you wowing? <laughs> Simple movement to do. Lying on the ground, driving up through your heels, and keeping your shoulder blades down. This is uh, yes. maximum. Well, like, I'm familiar with this exercise. I never do it at the gym because you look silly. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't done it in the bedroom either for a while. Huh? <laughs> 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 this fucking Wayne Brady over here doing exercises. What it? No, it's the Ty Bo guy. Oh. Harley hired <laughs> him and they, took him under his wing. Yeah. The big part hey, is through a way we could get Harley Pesternak to fucking go find Mark Harley and they have a little ta a little tag team podcast. Yeah. Or you think we get Harley Pesternak to meet up with uh, Big Gay Lion and drug him? Lock him away forever and put him in zombie land, wherever that is. <laughs> he already is. He's in Thick Boy Studios. <laughs> <laughs> what should we call it? Zombie land. Part of the butt and the we hamstrings like, and like the back. We like the Mac to Mac to Right? Yes, <laughs> and last but not least, we have a lying dumbbell tricep extension. You can do this on. Now, is this woman come with the workout? Am I allowed to conquer her like they did in Game of Thrones? On the ground, you can do it on the bench, and it's a simple movement that hits the back of the arm or the triceps. You don't need any help there. Yes, I do. But you're gonna. It's weird. It like she looks like she's doing some kind of upside down hand job. <laughs> I remember this. It happened one time when I visited the Minnesota Vikings on one of them boats. <laughs> remember that one? Yes. The the fucking the four boat that they had. Find these right three over now. here on the ground. So all three okay. of these on the He's ground. He's been doing your... gimmicks his whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Head down here, if you don't mind. We're gonna throw the hip circle over your legs. Just put it above the knee. Now for those- 
He's so strong, it just snaps. It just immediately snaps. Because if you're at home again, it's a really... Because he stretched it so far, it like rubber bands into the audience <laughs> yeah. and hits somebody. It, it shoots him out the window. No, it hits Stephanopoulos. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. Oh, Simple right. piece of equipment. You can get it online and grab the two dumbbells. We're going to start off with your arms up to the ceiling. Okay, but how are you going to pick those two women up? <laughs> and your hips up to the ceiling. This is the starting position. From here, we're going to lower the dumbbells and hips at the same time. Hips and everything up. Perfect. So we're hitting triceps. We're hitting butt. We're hitting all the things. Bro, you could bench like, you used to be able to do it's like 500 pounds. Why are you doing this mom workout shit? Things you need. How does it feel? It feels great. I wanted to get. How long am I supposed to do this? A minute? A He's, how do you not love I him? I love child. And some people were saying like, oh yeah, all the, the trans stuff and this and that that he had. But now looking back at like when he had like the, the trans kid, I think he's just so dumb. He's like, now you telling me that you show that little girl? I look like a little boy. Look, I get that he's just an idiot that does what he's told. Yeah. I'm not asking for him to. Like, I, I can't do that thing anymore where you're like, oh, I hate him because he's a lib fuck. Like, I don't care, man. Like, I just want to goof on people and have fun. And like, anybody we cover that's famous is going to be some puppet of these people anyway. That's a good point. I just it's like Strahan because he's a big dumb idiot. He's so much fun. Yeah. He's so much fun to cover. All right, we can move on.